Prosper allows you to add additional information to any row that you can see in any object. That is, if the configurators gave you access to the memo function. Uh, that memo function opens a memo window. For example, I can click on that, on, I can highlight a, a column and I click on the memo. If there was any memo, it will show me uh, the context, the, the, the information, that memo. If there wasn't any memo, memo, it will open for me inserting memo in the memo window. Uh, here we have a full text editor. Uh, this, uh, this is, you see the, the error correction, uh, spell checking. This is a uh, full, uh, let's say I want bold italic underline. Uh, uh, this is a full memo this is a full uh, text editor uh, that text editor that generates uh, uh, html5 content that will be stored in the database every row in any in every uh, object can uh, have zero or one memos attached to it memos attached let me see attached okay uh, you can view the HTML if you want to this is it will show you the HTML generated you can come back to the design it tells you your you have 31 words and 157 characters you can write as many as you want to you can make uh, you can take this HTML5 for example and change it from 16 pixels to for example I don't know 36 pixels that would be fine uh, take this one and make it uh, let's let's put some uh, color or or something like that I don't, uh, anything that you want to where is the color the color I don't see the color oh this is the color here make it red for example okay uh, there is in the minimum while editing a memo you can insert what we call some standard text. Standard text, define some standard text uh, in the standard text object. This list means uh, you can have, while you're writing, you might have some snippets, some standard text that we call them, that you want to use <coughs> while uh, writing your memo. Uh, this is, there is an object in Prosper called standard text. Once you go and define these standard texts in th in that object automatically they will show across the system and you will be able to uh, insert them here but since here there was there is none it's telling you define some some in the standard text object okay uh, you can insert you can attach uh, uh, photos you can insert the date you can you can do anything you can add videos anything that you want to and one more thing, one important thing you can decide. Once you, in any object, you can allow the user, uh, you can give him this, these tools, or you can give him a minimized tools. You decide as a configurator what buttons here you show the user when he, your final user when he enters into the memo. Uh, you, you decide what you want to show him. So when you say update, it updated and inserted a memo. So when we go back at any time, we go back and it will show it. It will show us the memo as it is uh, last time. Now, if we enter a memo on a row that has a status, 
uh, if the status is uh, is not does not allow the memo to be edited once you click on the memo you would see it in read only in read only way we will show this in another uh, in another place uh, next time